Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, I'm Katerina and I'm an English teacher from Canada. I make a new English lesson for you guys every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any new lessons coming out every week. I noticed that you guys have really enjoyed my videos about coffee, so I have made a lesson for you 10 useful phrases at the coffee shop. Practice and master these phrases so that you can always order your favorite beverage. This is going to be a listen and repeat lesson. I will say each phrase two times and give you the time to repeat it. And included with this lesson is a free PDF document with all the phrases as well as some helpful vocabulary to help you at the cafe. Check out the link in the description to download your free PDF. And by the way guys, before we get into the phrases, if you or someone you know is looking for an English teacher, I teach private online lessons for children and adults. So check out my website with the link in the description down below. Without further ado, let's get into today's topic, 10 useful phrases for the coffee shop. All of the phrases in today's lesson are between you as the customer speaking to the cashier or the barista. A smaller cafe might have only one person working and they will do both roles. They will act as the cashier to take your order and help you to pay and then they will act as the barista and make your drink. A bigger coffee shop will have these jobs separated. A barista is the special professional term for someone who makes specialty coffee beverages. All right, let's get into the phrases from beginning to end of entering the coffee shop, ordering your beverage, and saying goodbye. Practice these phrases with me to help you order next time you're at the cafe. Number one, hello, how are you today? Practice. <laughs> hello, how are you today? Very friendly, simple greeting. Before you place your order, ask how the person's day is going. Two, look at the menu and pick what you want. Put that item in the blank. Can I get a cappuccino, please? Can I get a cappuccino, please? Use this phrase for any of the items on the menu cinnamon bun, earl grey tea. Make sure you use the article a or an in front of it. If the drink or food item starts with a vowel, like a, e, o, a vowel, you have to use an. Can I get an orange juice, please? Three, are you drinking your coffee in the cafe? or are you taking it out? If you're drinking it in the cafe, you will get your coffee or your drink most likely in a mug, mug. If you're taking it out, it will be some kind of paper or plastic cup. For here, please. For here, please. To go, please. To go, please. Four, not sure what is that special drink on the menu? What's in the vanilla cappuccino? What's in the vanilla cappuccino? Oh, it's one shot of espresso, steamed milk, 2%, and two pumps of vanilla syrup. Now you know. Now you can customize your drink if there's something you don't like. Five, can you remove the vanilla pumps, please? So whatever you don't want in the drink, ask to remove it, to remove. It will be taken out. 
Can you remove the vanilla pumps, please? Six. Maybe you want to take one of the ingredients out and replace it with something else. This is called substitution. So you're not just removing it, you're also putting something else instead. Can you substitute the vanilla pumps for hazelnut? Can you substitute the vanilla pumps for hazelnut? In what other kind of situation might you ask to substitute? Maybe you don't drink 2% milk. Can you substitute the 2% milk for non-fat? Non-fat is like 0% or skim milk. Can you substitute the 2% milk for almond milk? Seven, as a kind of default, most of these drinks are gonna be made with a 2% milk here in Canada. It's just kind of a standard across coffee shops. What if you don't drink cow's milk? Do you have any non-dairy milk? Do you have any non-dairy milk? Dairy is a kind of category that involves animal products like eggs, milk, yogurt, cheese. Non-dairy means it doesn't come from an animal. So some common non-dairy milk examples that you might find at coffee shops are like almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk, and other similar products. Eight, want to order something else? Use the word also. Can I also get a cinnamon bun, please? Can I also get a cinnamon bun, please? Nine, ready to pay? Tell the cashier or the barista that you're finished with this phrase and indicate how you are paying. That's everything for today. That'll be debit. That's everything for today. That'll be debit. Instead of debit, you can put any kind of form of payment that you're using. Cash, credit, debit, phone payment. Maybe you've got a gift card for that specific cafe. This is where you can tell the cashier. 10. So you've got your delicious beverage, you're ready to go. It's just polite to say goodbye and thank you. Thank you, have a nice day. Thank you, have a nice day. All right, so that concludes our lesson for today. 10 phrases for the cafe. From beginning to end, these phrases will take you from the initial greeting, ordering your drink and making sure you get exactly what you want, and saying goodbye. This is a listen and repeat lesson, so I hope that you were practicing. And don't forget that included with this lesson is a free PDF document. You can download the PDF and you can listen to the lesson again, follow along and read the phrases. This will help you to remember them. And guys, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am a qualified English teacher and I do online private lessons for children and adults. I do customize my lessons based on what my students are looking for and I really specialize in beginner and intermediate students. I can help you to build up your vocabulary and to practice your speaking skills. Lessons for children include games and stories and lessons for adults really focus on building your confidence. Make sure you check out my website using the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching guys and I can't wait to see you next Friday. Bye!